Hey everybody, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you an updated planner lineup video. I have made a few decisions, uh, probably, you know, good for the next couple months regarding the system I'm going to be using. So I thought I would share that with you uh, and show a couple of changes and things. So hopefully this won't be too long of a video because I, you know, I don't want to make it very long, but I'm going to get short you know, right to the point. First of all, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate all the likes and subscribes. And if you haven't already, if you could subscribe, that would be great. Um, I am, the next video I'm going to be doing actually will be a giveaway video. So um, you have to be a subscriber to qualify for that giveaway. Um, and again, thank you so much for helping me build my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. So let's dig right in. So this is my current stack and there's a couple of different things in here. You'll notice I'm going to put these off to the side for now. A couple of different things you're going to notice. Uh, sorry about the glare. Let's do this. So first of all, this is my reading journal. I decided to stick with the coil bound for now. Let's move the other one's out to the side. So this is really awesome. I'm really truly enjoying this. Um, the, <clears throat> excuse me. So sorry. I'm so hoarse today. I have decided to stick with this for the remainder of the year. The happy planner that I had set up originally, I am going to use for next year's reading journal. So in the meantime, I'm going to give this a shot, but I'm really enjoying it. I've already kind of filled some of it out. So let me show you. So I have a few goals in here. Um, I was marking the days I read. I actually haven't read yet in February. I did forget to mark a couple days in January, um, but I have not started reading for the month yet. I've had a couple other projects going on. And then you'll notice, so what I decided to do is up here, I followed exactly how they had it, but I wasn't super crazy about all the prompts. I wanted to put in what I wanted. So this is kind of my summary of the book. And then this is actually kind of, you know, sort of like an opinion of mine. And then this is what I'm on to next. But I also put a picture of the book at the top here. So I kind of like that. Um, and I like that I can, you know, go ahead and put all that in there. So I just use like the skinny washi to cover up some areas. And I am filling out the book ratings at the top. So that was my first book. My second, oh, well, there, what was the title? <clears throat> Eggs in Purgatory, I believe. Yeah, Eggs in Purgatory. And then this one is Eggs Benedict Arnold by the same author. So again, I've done all that here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Next book is Bedeviled Eggs. Uh, and again, by Laura Childs. This is a really fun uh, series. I think I've gone and done a couple more yet. Let's take a look here. Um, but the next one I decided to read was Hooked on Murder. This series, you guys, is so much fun. Uh, Betty Hechtman is a really good author. I really enjoy it. She had a really awesome pound cake recipe, so I recorded that here. But I really like, you know, recording notes about the book and my thoughts about it, and then kind of what I'm reading next. So I'm really enjoying all of that. And then here, the next one up was Bleeding Hearts by Susan Wittig Albert. This was the next one in the series. It's the 14 in the China Bales. Um, I really love this series as well. She is a very good author. I really enjoy her work. Um, and there's many more of these books to go. So I'll be on that for a, quite a while. I don't even, I don't even know if I'll be able to finish her series by the end of this year. She has several more going. Um, this one is Spanish Dagger. The next one in the series by her, that was number 15. And then this, uh, was book four in the Cackleberry Club. So that is Steak and Eggs by Laura Childs. And then I decided to do book number two in the Crochet Mysteries by Betty Hechtman. That was Dead Men Don't Crochet. I love these. And I just realized I forgot to put my little uh, rating up there, which I'll have to take care of. The next book up that I'm reading is American Sniper by Chris Kyle. I already started putting that in there. Uh, and then the next one after that will be uh, Pies and Prejudice by Ellery Adams. I am behind on my book club uh, reading. Um, but these are all the books I have listed for right now. There's nothing else. So let's go to the next section. This is my book club. Now, the book club was actually Tuesday. Uh, so two days ago, I did not get the book read yet. I actually downloaded the app Libby on my tablet because <clears throat> I got the book from the library, but it was a really small paperback. And even with my reading glasses on, the print was so tiny. I even had my husband look at it. He's like, I don't know how you're going to read that. That's craziness. So I turned the book back in. Download, downloaded the Libby app, and I do have that book on my tablet now. 
that I got from the library. So I might actually read this next and then go to reading American Sniper because American Sniper is my book. So I will probably do this one next and then I will go ahead and watch the video um, of the book club meeting and then hopefully get back on track with that because I really want to do that this year. I really want to join in. Now I did... Um, Start with the first book here with the picture. I did write all the books in at the top. Um, I did not put all the pictures in or anything yet, so I'll get to that uh, soon. The next thing I did was I did set up my TBR in here. So like here, I have all the Susan Whitting Albert, uh, Joy Avon, David Baldacci, Mamie Bell, uh, Tanya Capes, uh, ACF Bookins, the different series. So all of those are in here now. So this all became my TBR list. I did not put favorites because again... I did not feel the need to do that. Uh, I, I, I just wanted to have my TBR list and leave it at that. So that's all in there. I did write down the book club reads uh, for the Cozy Mysteries uh, from 2022. So I might go ahead and read those. And then um, I do, again, want to read American Sniper by Chris Kyle and also Lone Survivor by Marcus Luttrell. Um, if you haven't seen the movie American Sniper or the movie uh, Lone Survivor, which are based on their true stories... Uh, those are also incredible movies, which uh, my husband and I did watch last month. So that is my reading journal. Now, what I am going to do, I just wanted to show you. I'll do it off camera, but I wanted to show you. I am going to switch up the cover. This is one of the covers I received in that winter box. I put the pocket in here already where my library card is going to go. This cover will stay on for the year, and then I'm going to put this cover on back at the end of the year um, when I put it on my shelf. Uh, and then I'll probably just save this for when I do go to another A5, um, probably next year for some reason. So I'm going to put that off to the side, but that's how that's going to change up. Now, my wellness journal. This I absolutely love. I've decided I really like having my wellness separate from my catch-all. It's working out really well for me because like when I go downstairs to work out, I can take it downstairs into our gym and keep it with me. Uh, and, and it just makes it so much easier. So my name and everything is already in the front. This is how January turned out. Um, so I'm able to mark any kind of cycles. Uh, I actually missed my weigh in on the 23rd, but I uh, we went hiking at Starved Rock. So I actually have been able to, you know, write everything in here. I'm keeping, you know, track of my habits. Uh, the two at the bottom are acetaminophen and tiger balm. I'm proud to say I didn't need any of them for the entire month. I did forget to mark my vitamins though, because I did take those. But in any case, so that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm using this as a dashboard. I'm getting the Planner Kate stickers, and then I'm doing the week at a glance to put my workouts in. So this is working out super great, guys. I am really loving this. Now, if they don't come back with this, um, it's listed as a what? A productivity planner. Uh, but it was listed as the companion planner on... Um, on the website. If they don't come back with these because they were limited edition, I will either get the dated monthly or I will just get a notebook. And Planner Kate also makes um, like shelves where you can, you know, do a calendar because this setup is working great for me. I left a section in the back here, you'll notice. So after the last week, I left a section here where I could write in and kind of journal uh, how things were going. And that's really been nice. I really like that. Um, then this, of course, is February, another Planner Kate kit with my dashboard and then my weeks. I'm really, um, I'm really glad I decided to do this. You know, breaking out of my usual routine, um, I feel has actually opened up new options for me to really better utilize my time. Um, and I'm really enjoying that. I've already got March set up as well, so I'm going to turn through that. I uh, have already chosen the kit I'll be buying probably tomorrow from Planner Kate for April. But I really like her monthly pages. Uh, it's it's. I love the way this looks. I love the ease of it. It doesn't take me long to work on. I set it up for the entire month, maybe within a half an hour or so, and then I'm good to go. So since I had all the kits you know, through there, I went ahead and did that. And then this is where April's going to go when I do get the kit. I will do another flip through um, at the end of February. And I will at that point show you how April turned out. So that is my wellness. I absolutely love this. Um, I will keep it like this. Like I said, if they don't come back with the companion planner, that was the limited edition, I will then go to either the dated monthly where it's the month and it's already there. And then I have all the, the blank pages, which will probably be my second option 
Or if for some reason they change that or don't come back with that, then I can always just use a 7x9 notebook. So I really love this. And I am considering, I don't know if I'm going to put this on my catch-all or if I'm going to put it on here. Um, I'm thinking probably the catch-all, but this is also that uh, 7x9 cover that I got in that winter uh, surprise box that I decided to grab, and this is the one from last year. So anyway, just thought I'd talk about that. Let's put that off to the side. So now my catch-all. This is working out beautifully. And I want to say, first of all, next year, I am going to be using a version of this in Happy Planner. They came out with an undated uh, checklist vertical that I absolutely love. Uh, I might have to add a few little things to it to tweak it, but again, it should still be relatively simple. So I do have that actually set on the side for next year um, because I got a really good deal on that undated planner. It was on sale, so I decided to grab it while I could. And so here we are. I have my goals in for February. I'm going to do a quick flip through. I did not get this page done yet, which I will probably get done soon. But this is so how like the monthlies end up looking when I'm done. I track my orders and when I go to the library, I have pictures I'm going to put down here. We did not get pictures when we went to Starved Rock because everything happened so quickly. But there are some beautiful pictures that people have taken at Starved Rock from, of the bald eagles this year. I am going to put those here because we did see some while we were out there. Um, it was just a few, but still, I want to go ahead and record that in here. Um, so that will be coming as well. But here's where I keep track of, you know, like the, the sticker kits. This is where I'm keeping track of my books. Um, and then so this is how January turned out. And, you know, again, I, I'm super excited. I get these set up and they're ready to go. Um, I'm actually set up through March, even in here, uh, simply because, you know, I get to do that in advance. I don't know what I'm going to do with this page, by the way, guys. Um, and then so all the other information is here. So again, this is set up for February. This is this week. And I really, you know, like I said, I really enjoy um, using the different stickers. I've never really used kits like this before. This is the first year I'm doing that. So it's a whole new experience. I'm really enjoying it. Um, and, you know, I will probably continue to do that next year as well. I have plenty of leftovers. So at some point, you know, I'll probably do it for next year. But here is, this is a kit from um, 2022 uh, for March. So I decided to use this. This is a little bit of a different layout. And I still enjoy it. I love this layout. It's really cute. But I'm really enjoying uh, Planner Kate and um, Sarah Marie stickers. I also have used some from Planner Craze, which I believe is the week we're on, if I'm not mistaken. Where is that? Where's my bookmark? Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is the one from uh, Planner Craze Studio. Really cute stuff. Love it. So, yeah, I'm again, I'm really enjoying these kits. I think they're a lot of fun. Um, I was going to try and start doing plan with me's, but it's just so simple for me to sit down at the end of the day um, and work on this or take a day on the weekend and just kind of lay stickers down while I'm watching TV. Um, you know, so that's kind of how I've been doing it. Um, and I get so excited. I get the kits on hand and I, I just can't wait to start planning things out. It's kind of crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. And then here is April. And I don't have that one done yet. So when I do a flip through, probably at the end of the month, April will be done in here. Now, the next one I have, <coughs> excuse me, this is my um, social media and Sensi business planner. This is a monthly. So I'm going to record orders here. This is ideas for my uh, workout planner. I always keep this around. These are, are my mild liners. And then in here, now I had started setting this up and I had it in my original Happy Planner catch-all. Um, I didn't end up really using it in January too much. And actually I can change this out now. Let's put that to the side for a second. So I really didn't use it very much. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to grab a glass of water, guys. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, what I decided to do was I recorded kind of how I started using it and now I've got it completely set up for February. So I'm going to use the monthly calendar. 
And then in here, I had actually already uh, taped that shut, so I wasn't going to use the monthly originally. I've decided I'm going to try and use it. So this is how I've decided to move forward with it. Um, everything will be on the dashboard. And then I have planned out for checking my workstation for uh, YouTube videos, you know, ideas and what I actually film. And then I have the spare pages in here. Plus, I'm going to use... Uh, the blank pages for kind of still like the brain dump like I originally intended. Uh, so whatever thoughts dealing with social media um, and, and the Sensi business will all go into this section. So in the meantime, I'm going to go back here and put this in. And this is all ready to go. All right, so that's that one. The last one I have is not one that I've shown. It's something that I've recently set up. <clears throat> excuse me, I had this as a spare. Um, I have these dividers uh, that I was originally using when I was going to use a big planner for my social media. And I originally got the seasonal one, which I love the dividers on. And that was one of the big things for me um, because it was, uh, you know, the dashboard originally, which is what I wanted. And it had these great dividers. I've since obviously changed my mind on that. However, what I love with this is now this has become kind of my crocheting project book. So in here, I'm writing down like what projects I'm working on for the month. If there's any, like this, I started on my 2022 temperature blanket. So I wanted to write that down. There's a sock along uh, that I now have all three parts of. So I will go ahead and try that. Uh, Moogly here on YouTube, she has a, uh, her name's Tamara. She actually has a uh, 2023 crochet along. It's 24 squares for the entire year. You make two squares per month or sometimes three, but it's every two weeks. Those come out. I placed uh, a Michael's sale order and a Joanne sale order for yarn, so I marked that in here. And then these are things that I want to, you know, remember to, to work on. So I've got that in here. And then what I did was... I decided to tape the pages together. I don't need any of the weekly information, but what I do need is the information on my projects. So that's where this is. So here's the sock, one of the sock along patterns. This was from week one. And then this was from, oop, there's week two. Sorry, the pages are sticking together. This is the crochet along. So I've printed out some notes and things from that. So there's the blocks. So that's all in here as well. So all of that information is in here um, throughout the front section. Now in February, I've already set that one up as well. I did not write my current projects in there. Right now I'm working on a blanket for my husband uh, in camouflage. Uh, he is an Air Force veteran, so I decided to make him a camouflage uh blanket, which is turning out super cute. It's the uh, Red Heart Super Saver yarn uh, that actually stripes itself in the camo. So as you're crocheting, no matter what stitch you do, it automatically gives you like a camo effect, which is really neat. Uh, so I'm working on that. I'm working on my temperature blanket. I started uh, a pattern of my own for a sweater. Uh, there was a few patterns I saw for sweaters and I really liked, you know, some elements from each sweater. There was like four different sweaters. So I've decided to kind of put them together and make my own. So I've never made a sweater before. So why I decided to do that, I'm not sure. However, um, it's actually kind of turning out. So I will, uh, you know, track that as well. But in here, I also have, this is another sweater that I am working on as a gift. It's a crochet cable cardigan um, by Crochet with Carrie. She's uh, Hey Carrie on YouTube. So I have all those notes there. And then I did already set up March. So, you know, for the crochet projects and when the squares for the uh, crochet along come out. Then in the back, here I have other patterns printed. Well, one other pattern right now printed uh, that I want to do. This is for the Stars in Your Eyes throw from Your Inspirations. And then back here, I just have, you know, some blank paper, some different kinds. So that's the way I have that set up. It's not something I pick up every single day, but it is going to help me keep track of those projects. And that's going to be a lot of fun. So that is my setup. So my crochet projects, my Scentsy business and social media, my catch-all, my wellness, and my reading journal. So that's where I'm at for this point in the year. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make any more changes. I think it's kind of, you know, going to stay as is. 
Um, but I'm really enjoying it the way it is. And anything that I had, you know, originally set aside for this year, I will probably put most of it to use next year. I just, I kind of needed a change and this is working out super well for me. So I'm really enjoying it. And speaking of enjoying, I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much again today for joining me. Uh, the next video I will have coming up will be regarding the giveaway, which I'm going to start today and will probably go through the weekend. I'm thinking I'll probably you know, draw a winner either Monday or Tuesday. So that video is coming up next. I will talk to you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of your day.